Hello, and thank you for joining me for this short introduction to Spotfire 10. I'm very excited to show you around the new interface and explore some of the new powerful features with you. The first thing that you'll notice is the all new look and feel of Spotfire 10. Now, before we really can get started, the first thing we need to do is to load some data. And it just so happens that I have some master well data available, so let's use that. In Spotfire 10, whenever you want to access data, you just click the plus sign, and I can do that either right here or I can do that right here. And as soon as I do that, you'll have access to a host of certified data source connectors that will give you access to all of your data sources. Or you can browse for a local file by just clicking right here. And we'll do that right now. We'll go ahead and browse and we'll bring in that master well data just like this. Spotbrier will give you a chance to look and make sure that the data that's coming in is what you would expect. And we can go ahead and hit OK and hit OK to load that data. Now, there's a lot of things that we'll be discussing here. One of the things that I do want to show and make sure we talk about is the fact that we have an all new interface. You'll notice that everything's been redesigned to give you access to a desktop that has been optimized to use the real estate more effectively. All of the menu items and everything are still here at the top. The other tools that you will have available are arranged over here on the left hand in the margin. And the first thing we'll look at is going to be the, the all-new designed and powerful data canvas. Now, as soon as I go here, this is really where you get to see and interact with the genealogy of your data. And you'll be able to interact with each and every node or place where something has been done to alter, change, or transform that data. So I could come right here. We could actually click right here and change the way that data is being interacted with. Or I could come and say, you know what? I actually have some production data I'd like to merge or join with this master well data, and I can do that right here. I can just come and say, I want to add a new node, add it as some new columns. Here's the production data. I, have, I know where that is. We'll go ahead and load that. And I'm going to go ahead and look at the settings for the, uh, for the import. Now, this is where you start to see some of the real important cool stuff start happening with Spotfire TAM because there's been a lot of automated intelligence built into this new platform. You'll notice that as soon as I ask Spotfire to join these two tables, it automatically identifies possible join keys and presents them to me. Now, I only want to use the UWI, so I'm going to go ahead and turn off these others, but it found those automatically for me. I don't really want to load the longitude and latitude because I know I already have that in the master well data. And then I come down and I look at the join settings. Now this is another place where you're going to start seeing some real differences and really amazing stuff happen in Spotfire. The new Spotfire 10 has been made so that everything is visual. Users told us that they wanted to be guided visually through the entire data exploration process. And we've done that everywhere. And you're going to notice that everywhere you go, you have visual cues being pushed back at you to help you know what to do. And you see that here with the join. You know, when you come in and you say, I have all these different types of join options. What do they mean? You know, maybe I don't really know what it means. What's the difference between a left outer join or an inner join? Well, guess what? If I choose this and I, then I just come down and I go like this. I can see exactly what's going to happen if I use a left outer join. How's that different than an inner join? Well, I can choose that and I can come down and I can see, oh, that's the difference. And you're going to see that that happens everywhere. I can see the actual differences that are going to take place if I choose different join methods. And you're going to find that Spotfire 10 is that way with almost everything you do. It's really hard to get lost in Spotfire 10. So I'm going to go ahead and use the left outer join. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the OK button. You'll notice now that I have a brand new node that's been added as I joined that data. Every one of these nodes is fully editable. I could come back in right here, click it, come back in and change something. If I wanted to change the join method, I could. I could come down and I could change the, uh, the way the data loading is happening. I could come down and I could replace the data source or add a transformation. Everything is completely editable. 
in the entire genealogy of the way that this data has been has been created. Okay, let's take a look at some more exciting features of Spotfire. Now, one of the other things that um, our users told us as we were designing Spotfire 10 is they wanted assistance in knowing how to begin looking at their data. Once they've loaded data, how do I get started? Or what should I do first? And so you'll notice, right as you load data, the first thing that happens on the desktop is we give you some visual cues and help knowing how you can get started. You can start working directly with the data by just clicking here. You can begin looking at your data from a visual standpoint by just clicking here, or you can begin using the new natural language query engine to query your data and begin building dashboards using natural language by clicking here. And that's actually where I'm going to start because I think this is really exciting. So let's go ahead and just click explore by search. Now this is where you can begin querying your data and actually building dashboards just by using natural language just asking questions in the words you would normally naturally use like this I could say things like so what seems to affect porosity now as soon as I do that you'll notice that Spotfire goes out it begins crunching and it brings back to me best practice visualizations that would help me answer this question that I just asked and you'll notice it's not simply just things like give me a, a histogram of porosity, which it did right here, but it actually used automated intelligence machine learning algorithms to go out and actually find other variables that are truly related to and are affecting porosity. In this particular case, it determined that the porosity and permeability do have a relationship or a correlation. It brings that back, it finds other things as well, and I can actually click on this and I can add it and begin building a dashboard using that relationship. I could do something like this. Let's kind of change the question that's being asked. Maybe we can say something like, how does monthly look over time? Now Spotfire is going to go out and it's going to find the best practice ways of answering that question. So how does, how, do, how does that look over time? And if I wanted that, you know, I could say, you know, that seems to answer my question. I could click that, I could add that to my dashboard. We could ask something like this. I could say, um, compare monthly gas by operator. Okay, and it's gonna go out and it's gonna find ways of doing that. And then I could maybe add another twist to that by saying over time okay and so it's going to go out and find different ways of looking at it over time so you're going to you you really just you use natural language and the way that you would normally ask questions to query your data and you can actually use that you can build entire dashboards without ever even going to a menu you can just ask questions add visualizations to your dashboards and Spotfire will automatically have these, these automated intelligence machine learning algorithms running in the background looking for relationships that it can suggest to you and that you can select from. Okay, so let's kind of go back and take a look at where we could go from here. Let's suppose that you wanted to start by working with your data and I just kind of clicked right here. Now this is gonna bring up the data panel that you have been familiar with in the past and you can just begin by you know selecting variables as you normally would so let's choose the latitude and longitude spotfire of course knows that your data is geographically oriented and you'll notice now that once you start selecting variables in the data panel once again we start giving you recommendations as to how you could look at that data so here's a map and i can just click on that ah oh, look it'll go ahead and add that for me but it goes beyond that. Let's say we just came up and we looked at monthly condensate. Now you would expect that when you clicked on monthly condensate that you might get something like a histogram of that variable or maybe even looking at it over time. 
Now here, you'll notice it's not just this, but it says, hey, you know what? You may want to look at it over time. So it actually finds the production date and shows you monthly condensate over the by production date, even though you didn't select production date. It knows that that might be a way you want to look at it. Or, as I kind of illustrated before, there are automated intelligence machine learning algorithms that are continually running in the background, looking for relationships and correlations. And in this case, it's actually come down and said, hey, you know what? There's actually a possible correlation between the monthly gas and the monthly condensate, and here it is. Do you want to look at that? And I'd say, yeah, actually I do. And so I could click on that. I could add that here to my, um, to my dashboard, I could come in, everything's automatically connected as you would always expect things would be in Spotfire. And uh, you're gonna find that everywhere you go, whenever you do anything in Spotfire 10, those algorithms are gonna be running and it's gonna be suggesting to you ways that you could look at your data and giving you an opportunity to select various relationships or correlations or visual representations that you could use and you could add those to your dashboard if you, you so choose to do that. Okay, now lastly, uh, you might want to start by looking at your data by just building visualizations uh, from scratch. So if I, if I said I want to start from building visualizations, this is the, these are all the built-in visualizations that you can choose from. I could come down and say, well, let's just go ahead and start with a map. Spotfire knows that this is geographically oriented data. So once again, here, the, here it is. And I could go ahead and I could come in and I could say, well, let's go ahead and maybe color, you know, each of these wells by the operator. We can do that. And then, as always, I could maybe come in and select some of these. Um, I could go ahead and do the, you know, let's create a de details visualization, maybe a combination chart. Go ahead and move that over here. And let's go ahead and put the production date on the uh, horizontal, horizontal axis. Go ahead and make sure that that's a categorical scale. And then we can choose maybe some of those important variables that uh, we have to put on the vertical axis. Go, let's go ahead and let's put the, for example, maybe the monthly oil on there. So we'll call this monthly oil. Uh, let's go ahead and add another one. Maybe we can put that monthly condensate on there. Let's go ahead and add one more. Maybe we'll put that monthly gas on there. And let's add one more, maybe the number of wells. Okay, very good. And what we'll do, we want to make sure that this is a, uh, want to make sure that we have a, a multiple scaled, we have independently, independent scales for each of those variables. And maybe that we want to have the, uh, the number of wells be a line. Let's go ahead and maybe make that a, maybe a green line. Maybe we can make this kind of a, kind of a reddish color here. Maybe make this, uh, maybe something like maybe a, maybe a purple or something like that. And now we've kind of got, as you would kind of expect a drill down, showing us those variables over time, looking at the number of wells and how those things interact over time. Now, one last thing that, uh, that we may want to do is reach out and tie into using one of those certified data connectors to tie into maybe some sensor data that we have coming from the field. It might even be real-time data so we can see how that's affecting our, our visualizations or, or our, our data. So let's go ahead. I actually do have some sensor data that I'd like to bring in and tie into. So let's go back. Remember, if I ever want to tie into data or access my data, all I do is uh, anywhere I am, I just click on the plus sign. I can go and connect. In this particular case, I have my data sitting in a SQL server. We'll go ahead and connect to that put in our credentials, go ahead and connect. And it is this field sensor data. We'll just go ahead and add that. Here it is, we'll bring it in. Now it, by default, it's saying, do you want me to keep the data external and just load it on demand? Uh, no, I really don't wanna do that. I want to load it, go ahead and import the data. Now I could bring it in as new rows or add it as new columns, but I'm gonna, because I wanna show you something 
that's another one of these kind of cool parts of Spotfire. I'm just going to load it as an independent, non-connected table. It's just going to be a, a non-connected, independent table of sensor data. We'll just go ahead and add it as a new table, and we'll, we'll import. Now, I want you to see something here. Remember I said that Spotfire had a lot of automated intelligence built right into it so that it would be able to go out and, and find some of find things or suggest things to you. If I come in here and I just go ahead and I select the alternative well ID and I kind of come down and I look at the options that are suggested to me, you'll notice one of the things that pops up here is link data tables. Spotfire has looked at what the data that I have available. To me and it has figured out that the sensor data could be joined with the other master well data and production data that I have available and it's actually figured out how to do that and it says right here to me hey do you want me to link the sensor data to these other tables that are already here I already know how to do it do you want me to do it and I say sure I just click it and it's done the linkage has happened and those tables are now connected and so now I could do something like this. I could just come back over and I could just say, hey, let's go ahead and let's make another details visualization. In this case, it'll be a line chart from the sensor data. We'll go ahead and we'll move it right over here. But this time, let's go ahead and we will trellis this by using the, that data coming from the sensor data. Um, let's go ahead and let's put the pressure here on the vertical axis. Let's also go ahead and put the, the current, let's put the amps on there as well, like so. Uh, maybe we could change that, let's make the amps maybe red, like that. And then we do want to have this be a, uh, have independent multiple scales for each color that we have. And now, as we make these selections, like so, this, those tables are joined, and Spotfire was able to do that for us. So, so just by way of review, Spotfire has an all-new designed interface that gives you access to a lot of really new and exciting tools. You have access to options that will direct and guide you through your analysis. You can either begin by using natural language query, build beginning with visualizations, or start from scratch directly from the data. And you'll, as you work with your data, you'll always have access to automated intelligence and machine learning algorithms that are running in the background to find relationships or ways of looking at your data and then suggesting them back to you so that you can add them to your, your dashboard or your analysis to get the maximum benefit from your data. So I want to thank you for your time. It's been exciting exploring the new Spotfire 10 platform with you, and I wish you all the best as you use this exciting platform to look at your own data.